African elephants. Beautiful African elephants. Hello, Frillings. This is Claw from Chicago, and we are back with another episode of Planet Zoo. And here's a picture of the last Planet Zoo. Thank you. Thank you so much for all of your support. And for people that do not know, I had some issues with my graphics card. We'll be talking about that a little bit later. But hit that like button and hit that subscribe button because we are going to be trying to be doing one Planet Zoo video here every week on this channel. If not, we'll be bringing you one quality beefy episode. These Planet Zoo episodes will most likely be all time lapses. Um, and we are gonna be doing a live section and a glamour shots with the elephants doing their natural environment without me talking. It's gonna be super awesome. But let's start off with my graphics card. So for people that do not know, in our Discord, I've notified everyone on Discord, Twitter, uh, Snapchat, or no, I don't have a Snapchat. Uh, Discord, Twitter, TikTok, uh, bite that my graphics card like pretty much died and we have still no idea what happened to it uh, but I am very thankful for a bunch of people um, I'm going to give a massive shout out to Hi PVP. it's me because once I posted this announcement of my me saying that the graphics card pretty much died that he came out of literally nowhere and helped me spec out a thing really quickly and pretty much got me up and running about I don't even know it was it was a good bit of time that I was out but it wasn't as long as I thought it was it seemed like an eternity but thank you thank you so much hi PVP it's me for specking out a graphics card very quickly it is a Nvidia graphics card 1070 uh, I do want to give additional shout outs to my man Jordan Hudson Liam Dr. Brown Cripsa uh, for helping me try to solve this problem but it, it is uh, very awesome that we are back up and running again. Um, it felt like an eternity, <laughs> to be honest with you. Usually I have videos that are pre-recorded and pre-posted, but I uh, just didn't have time to do it when my graphics card failed. I think it failed on the weekend, and it was, it was terrible. Because usually I have everything pre-recorded on Sunday, so I was like, but no. Um, but here we are working on this long sort of pond entrance thing, sort of like the Washington monument uh thing here oh by the way before we get off the graphics card issue um with my graphics card crashing a lot this was literally the last thing i recorded before uh, my graphics card completely failed so to be honest with you i don't exactly remember much of what i did but i could tell you a little bit of what happened so we're just putting in uh basic trees water and stuff like that if you want to see me put a fence around this outside perimeter by the water let me know uh, but I wanted to do something a little bit here. You guys all know that I love using plant life, and especially cherry blossom trees. And we're going to be using a combination of corsia uh, bushes. And I think, I, I guess we're going to call them dandelion bushes. I don't really know. The, these yellow ones. Just using a different combination of all of them in here. And then I think just some regular bushes as well. Just to give us a little bit of color and a little bit of life. I didn't want to put an exhibit here because most animals in this game really need a lot of room to roam. Um, so we're not going to do all of that. Obviously, this is not an exact copy and we're not going to be completely OCD on this part considering it's a time lapse. So I can be OCD <laughs> and not record it. But I didn't want to do too much work here. Obviously, you got to put some more cherry blossoms in. Cherry blossoms are only blossoming... Uh, I think they only blossom for about two weeks in real life, which is still a very long time, but uh, a lot of people think it's a lot longer, including myself. I wish cherry blossom trees were permanently cherry blossom. Uh, but I think just this quick time-lapse view of just looking at that, it looks quite beautiful. And I think here we are going to start working on our beautiful African elephants. Now, I cannot remember the names because uh, I recorded this live event yesterday and I'm re-recording this time-lapse footage because it sounded very sad in the last one for some reason. So hopefully it's on a little bit happier. Uh, but we're going to start off with uh, electric barb wire fences. We're going uh, full length and then going 15 degree angles until we get about uh, 90, 45 degrees. Uh, from there, we're going to be putting in a brick wall in the back. We'll be doing the brick section a lot later on. Uh, we do a little bit of concrete here, but we will make it all brick in the back. And then we're going to raise up the fences as well. Now, the reason why we're doing this is 
because uh, elephants need a secure location uh, so they don't escape and so they can feel comfortable and confined. Uh, I wanted to do a half sort of circle, I guess you could say, or a half oval. Just so there's enough viewing sites. Elephants seem to be a big component in all the zoos I've visited. Uh, beautiful animals. They remember everything, which is a, a cool stat. And now that we're bringing up the elephants, I will be putting the stats on screen. I don't see them right now because I haven't put them in. Uh, but these are the stats from in-game for Planet Zoo. And I keep forgetting what this elephant's name is. It's the... The elephant has the exact same name as the guy from The Lion King, the uh, monkey that puts little blood on Simba's head. Uh, it starts Ralfiki, I think is his name. At the, in the live in the live section here, I will say it again at the end. Um, and then we do get him a uh, lady companion. Yeah. Um, but obviously in Planet 2, for people that do not know, this is... What we have to do is we have to look at the stats on the right-hand side there and match it up to whatever the elephant is. So if you don't have an elephant, it's kind of hard to do. Um, and obviously, if your graphics card is crashing all the time, it's very hard to do. So there's a lot of stuff that I do that gets deleted and reversed. So uh, we will be coming back to this habitat later on. We will 100% come back to this habitat. And this is probably the worst one, the worst looking habitat because uh, my graphics card failed so many times and I couldn't go back to fix anything that I did, and I need to get this video out now. Um, but yeah, so the African elephant needs a little bit of room. They need a swimmable area. They need dirt. They need uh, short grass, a little bit of long grass, not that much long grass. Um, they need food. They need food enhancements. They need uh, ball enrichment. What do you call it? Toy enrichment is what it's called, and food enrichment. Um, so I'm adding a little bit of dirt around the 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 pond i guess you could say so the elephant can walk around there and get hydrated and chill um like i said it's an electric fence um there we go we put a little mud pit in there we put a little bit of food tray and we're going to do a toy enrichment with a soccer ball uh, i want to put it in this mister but uh didn't really have much room for that and we're going to do a little bit of food enrichment which is like a little spinning thing you'll see that at the end in the glamour shots of the elephants using it they spin the little thing and it uh lets them eat pretty much um the style building of course because it is a african elephant we are going to be going with the african style building pieces in planet zoo um, there's a lot of beautiful pieces in planet zoo and a lot of people uh don't realize that and this is i haven't spent any money on the dlcs or anything so i still have a lot more stuff to do but uh we're just going to do a very simple African style building here. And remember, everyone that has saw our beautiful Planet Coaster series knows that there's a lot of facade work, and this is a facade building. Um, we are going to be using thatch roofing here, and realistically, you would not use thatch roofing for a permanent structure for any elephant. But remember, this would be like in real life, it would just be painted on, uh, they could be made out of plastic, uh, something, it would be permanent, but it's supposed to look real uh, but as you can see in a couple minutes here we're gonna have some issues with this roofing because the elephants for some reason have or every animal in this game has issues with the uh, traversable area and the the roofing pieces somehow prohibit them from walking um, so we have to delete some of the walls and the roofing so they can come on in we do get that fixed um, you're gonna see it very briefly here um, it's gonna be like a blue a blue area and you're gonna see a little uh, gray spots gray spots means the elephants can't walk there and obviously we gotta get rid of that um here we go doing a little bit more work uh, this is sort of like the adobe blocks in uh, planet coaster for people that are wondering like what kind of blocks are you using and these adobe pieces are pretty much what it, those are well they're not called adobe but uh, I, yeah, see, here's where my, my graphics card crashed, came back, thankfully it saved. Um, I'm like, why is the elephant not going in there? Because I knew there was something wrong, and I haven't played the tutorial in a very long time. Uh, so I was like, oh, yeah, there you go. He can walk in there, walk out, and he can just chill. You know, that's what I wanted to do. You know, like, during the winter or something, you can shut the door and he can stay inside or go outside if he wanted to. But he wasn't going in, and that was very strange. And I still think there's some issues with it. 
uh, my graphics card crashed again <laughs> here. And there you go. There's the blue traversal area. That's the area that they can walk in. So they can't walk all the way in in some of those parts. But for what I would need, it's it's fine. But the elephant can now supposedly sleep inside. I haven't seen them sleep inside yet. Um, maybe they'll go inside. If not, we'll do a little bit more work. This, this entire habitat here does need some more work. Um, so in the comment section down below, I don't know which animals we are going to be trying next, but I will be putting down three animals in the comment section down below. So be sure to, you know, what? I won't put it, I'll pull it up on screen right now. Um, because I honestly don't know. And here we go. Crash my graphics card. Three, two, one, crash. Okay. <laughs> uh, then we do the red brick walls in the back. Um, but yeah, I will be bringing it up on screen now. You can vote for any of these three in the comment section down below. The one that has A, the most comments, or the one, the comment that has the most likes will be put into the zoo next episode. So make sure you do that as soon as possible because once this video goes live, I'm going to probably come home and uh, start working <laughs> on the next habitat because I want these to be some big, chunky episodes anywhere between 15 to 20 minutes. Uh, it could be... I mean, honestly, until I get it done. But these are going to be some big, chunky episodes with time lapses at the beginning, live action talking, and uh, glamour shots at the end. So these Planet Zoo videos are going to be very unique, and you guys like them a lot, and uh, we'll be doing a lot of them. Here we go. We have a uh, habitat uh, assistant. I don't know what you would call them. Uh, a trainer. Oh, it's a caretaker coming over here to give some food. Uh, we do have the... Um, what you call it? What are they called? The guests. The guests can come in and ex uh, view the exhibits. And right now, they're all complaining about it being too cheap. Of course, uh, from me watching Wilson Finance, the, you know, usually you don't complain about stuff being too cheap. Because <laughs> then you have to change it up. But I kick everyone out of the zoo here in a couple of minutes. Just so I am able to uh, continue on without my game. It's not going to I wasn't lagging at the time. Just so I can, you know, focus. Um, here is another issue with my graphics card, and thankfully it did come back online at this point before completely failing. Uh, so, we are working on some little utility buildings, because the utility buildings on the outside are way too far away for any habitat. Uh, well, considering we only have one habitat. Um, so I need to build some at least more in the central area. And I wanted to build this park um, as sort of, I want an African area. I want a Asian area, and I want, what's the other one? Maybe Australian. I don't think Australian's actually in this. I have to pay money for Australian. Sorry, Good Gaming. Um, whatever packs I want, or obviously it's going to be African and Asian for sure, but I want them to have three sections of the park using those uh, animals, uh, and then we'll go from there. But I put a keeper's hut. Uh, a, a, I put a keeper's hut a weight a staff room and then water and electricity so there's no issues here's the woman elephant uh, she's in there i think she's 15 years older than the male elephant uh, obviously right now i do not have breeding or death on because these elephants do like to die quite quickly and breed quite fastly uh or quickly i don't know how you'd say that in this game so we're just going to keep that off for the time being because we will be coming back to the um, the exhibits but we will be coming back to this now i do want to give a massive shout out to the people that have picked the name of the zoo which is called fred topia and these are the two winners here so thank you thank you thank you so much for commenting down below uh, fred topia was a perfect fantastic name for the zoo and we will be having more of these comment section things so make sure you comment and watch these as soon as possible because usually when the stream or the video goes live and i come home that day usually i start working on that we're going to jump into a live action scene here in a couple of seconds so thank you so much make sure you check out the comment section down below hello fredlings and we are back look at this we have named the zoo fred topia zoo and here are the people that picked this name and at the end of this episode remember to look at the comments section and vote on which animal you want next but this is fred topia zoo so thank you guys so much for all of your beautiful suggestions for names i thought this was probably one of the most unique names obviously it still has fred in it and fred topia so let's press play um, I am recording this audio slash video a week or about a week after my graphics card crashed. We'll talk about that a little bit in the time lapse. 
Uh, so that's why I'm doing this part first, then doing the time lapse recording, because I honestly don't remember what I did. Uh, yeah, that was not a fun experience. But as you look here, uh, what do you guys think? Do you think we should have some sort of railings here so people don't walk in, or do you think this is fine? But I wanted to go for some sort of statues with some water, but I didn't want to do spraying water on all of it. Just because it, I think it would look just a little bit too much. Um, of course, the beautiful cherry blossom trees filled in with these um, rose bush, uh, these rose bushes, and these uh, crescento bushes. Uh, I think that's just a nice, beautiful blend. Obviously, cherry blossom trees are not cherry all the time. They're only blossom for about uh, two years. I think they're called sukuda trees. Um, in the back, we didn't do anything, so don't don't look at that. Um, but yeah, at the end of this little beautiful long aisle of water, you could see our beautiful two African elephants. And I had a lot more work done on this pavilion, but my graphics card, like I said in the time last, they just kept crashing and crashing and crashing and crashing. Uh, and then I've never turned back on, so I had no time to go back and look at this. But look how beautiful these elephants are. But long story short, um, there was supposed to be like wooden fencing here and some like bushes. So the two elephants' names are Rafiki. Uh, I didn't come up with these names, by the way. Rafiki. Uh, he is from, well, if you don't know who Rafiki is, he's the guy from The Lion King, the monkey dude. And then Nathafa, if I'm saying that correctly. Oops. Oops. Then I don't want the habitat. Nathafa, something like that. But two, and she's the girl. This is the man. And um, I don't currently have eligible breeding on, but technically they could breed. Uh, Rafiki here is, I think, 15 years old. Oh, no, he's 17. And uh, Nathia is uh, a lot older. Yeah, 30. So maybe they're not eligible to breed yet. Maybe they're not this. I don't know how elephant try, like packs work. Uh, but I just wanted to get them set up because I think, like I said a lot, is I, I really do believe that the African elephant is probably one of the most beautiful, one of the most beautiful animals uh, to uh, live. Uh, as a, as I, I don't know why they're just. I love their tusks. I love how they're just that gray, those big, beautiful eyes. I don't know. Uh, but this is obviously an African elephant. I'll give you guys a brief history lesson, <laughs> a brief biological. You can tell what's the difference between African elephant and an Indian elephant by their ear size. African elephants have bigger ears because they use their ears as fans, as you can clearly see here. Perfect timing, Rafiki. Uh, we obviously have an inclusive, uh, what would you call this? Uh, electric fence here. And we will still be doing some more updates on this, but I wanted to get this started. Uh, but let's take a look inside of their habitat. In real life, you would not want to get inside of the habitat because you probably would die. Uh, because even though elephants are very beautiful, um, they can be aggressively violent every so often, uh, considering that she's running right towards me. <laughs> um, but the elephants will go around and um, hit the little soccer ball around which is very cute. Uh, they have an en enhanced feeder here, so they can put their little schnout and uh, pick some food out and put it in. It's a, in, it's a what you call this? Uh, is this enhanced food enhancement? I forgot what it's called. Um, but yeah, so they put the little schnout in there, grab the food and, you know, eat it. Uh, the whole point of doing that is to, you know, keep them, keep them like trying hard. Cause obviously with animals being kept in captivity, these animals can never be released in the wild according to how I bought them. Um, you're trying to keep the animal as wild as possible, but keep it as domesticated. Uh, domesticated animals are like... Domesticated elephants are like zoo elephants, and usually they turn really bad. Um, so in our zoo, we're going to try to be as humane as possible, so we're not doing that. So we're going to try to give them food enhancements so they can, you know, pick and try to, you know, get as much food as realistically as they can. Um, they do get filled up with some food here. Um... They also have, oh, well, that's where the ball goes. A little mud bath and some beautiful, uh, what are we calling these? Elephant grass stand. So they can kind of get a little bit of privacy from the guests. Now, as you've seen in the time lapse, I had a lot of issues with this enclosure here. I, I wanted this enclosure to be realistic, but I I the game said no <laughs> to that idea. Um, so I decided to just make it more open um so they have more i guess a way in 
obviously with it being planet coaster or i'm sorry planet zoo uh, we can do these little uh, floating doors because we're not going to be coming in here all that much but i did want to give them a little bit of privacy um they still can be seen over here so maybe we'll add some bushes and stuff this way so they can kind of like hide from the guests uh, because animals in this game can get very stressed just like in real life um but right now with no uh with no guests they're not they're gonna be just chilling they'll just be chilling So I hope you friendlings enjoyed this episode in the comment section down below. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Uh, we are going to try to do plan or weekly Planet Zoo videos. And if we don't, uh, I'll be bringing you one, bruh, bringing you one quality uh, video if I can. So let's go to some glamour shots of these beautiful African elephants. And we'll see you next time.